after the ayodhya verdict people are looking at other sites that are speculated to have been built over mandirs and the latest place to join that list is the gyanvapi mosque in varanasi is this new movement not just by hindus but by all indians to reclaim their history and to tell the story of their historic persecution is it symbolic of indic revival of a revival of our ethos absolutely i i feel it is very much so i'm not so sure i like the word indic i guess if that's the global term used i would like to say vedic vedic civilization because um ultimately that is the source of all of our knowledge and all of our heritage and culture so i'd like to give the <laughs> true uh source the credit uh so so the vedic culture is it's an eternal thing nobody uh, so many millenniums uh have gone where people have again and again tried to destroy it but there will there is a revival and thank god <laughs> thank the lord for it because um uh, it just takes one it just takes one person someone like modi ji to come into um to, to come into prominence that can really just uh, uplift and reinvigorate sanatan dharma because the truth can never be hidden the truth can never be destroyed because it is an eternal uh, reality but because modi ji has come into prominence or power um like i said we found our voice we we've gotten for the first time in let's say how many centuries what a thousand years <laughs> we've been persecuted for so long by so many people and um finally we have someone who is not uh in it for himself he is not in it for any kind of um ulterior reasons it's not he's not in it for the name or the fame or the the cash prize at the end <laughs> he's not in it to uh, further his lineage and his family you know trust funds so this is such a rare moment he's a real sadhu he's a tapasvi and it has completely shaken up uh, the hindu community to the core because it really helps us think okay you know we were all of this anyai all of this injustice has been done to us but if we if we just become confident in our core without being we don't want to persecute in return this is not a revengeful um uh you know now i'm going to get you back aisa nahi hum random masjid ko nahi tod rahe we're not going around trying to incite violence and hatred we just want to um just some reparations we just need the reparations i grew up you know i was born in vrindavan right next to mathura i grew up in vrindavan so i uh, just seeing all the temples the krishna janmasthan you know the keshav math the the madan mohan ji temple if you ever come to braj you'll see all the temples that were destroyed by the great aurangzeb <laughs> and um, and then when you hear about the mughal raj and how it's described in history your you know your blood just <laughs> it boils and and you just suppress it you think okay well kya kare history hai you know ab ho gaya so ho gaya but that is not true because that that repression and oppression goes deep into your dna and it sits there <laughs> and it gets passed down to generations unless the reparations are made unless someone like modi can come modi ji can come up and say you know what let's just repair the really deep rooted wounds let's just you know stitch it up a little put a bandaid on it so that we don't pass on that trauma anymore it's so it's so powerful what he's doing because if we don't do that we will constantly have hate in our heart for the muslims we will it's natural because everywhere you look you can see the vestiges of this um you know <laughs> the the destruction so the indic revival this vedic revival is again i would say inevitable and it's so timely i'm so grateful that we are looking towards all the main uh, centers of the main uh, temples and uh, of of our faith and we're reviving it because um it will help all relations in the long run 
if we can actually revive these tooths um, to the necessary strength that the Hindus can feel comfortable, then we won't continue to be at each other's throats so much, you know? Like if you owe me like a thousand dollars and you, you say, okay, here, I'll give you some of it back. I won't, I won't have the same amount of, uh, you know, disdain for you. Just a little bit. Give me back something that, that, that you owe me. And if you look at the West, you know, um, uh, I, I, might, I might be going off on a tangent here, but all of the atrocities that have happened in the West, there are reparations that are being made at least acknowledgement and to whatever degree the reparation can be made, that is actively done. If you look at the, you know, the slave trade issues or the Holocaust and, you know, the whole Black Lives Matters, this is a, this is an indication that that trauma and the wound is deep and it must, there must be some kind of communication and reparation. And that really, I think it will help in the long run. So yes, I fully support the uh, finding and the uh, restoration of all the main uh, places of faith, the mandirs that have been destroyed. And I, and I really commend the Modi Sarkar <laughs> to, to keep going. And um, just, and I, what I love about him is he's doing it in a very, uh, in the most peaceful way possible. He does not, people can't appreciate this because they, you know, they want to, you know, point the finger, but Truly, it could be much worse. <laughs> He's trying to be as um, reasonable as possible going through the court systems. And so uh, we've got to give credit where it's due. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit CITTI.net. Dhanavad Namaskar.